It's what's on the inside that counts and nothing could be truer about today's episode. Yolanda and I are going to be showing you how to zhuzh up the inside of your drawers. Whether it be a sock drawer in your bedroom, a utensil drawer in your kitchen or an art supplies drawer in your studio. We are going to show you the easiest way to transfer your cupboard into areas in minutes. And Roxy's going to do all the work today. Okay, so just to give you a heads up of what we've done already, this is our drawer. We have given it a coat of bubblegum milkshake and some Leroy. And on the sides, looking very pretty. And then obviously the inside we've kept the floor. This is where our decoupage tissue paper will be going. So we are going to be using today our Granny Bee's decoupage tissue paper, the Azul design, just to show you what it looks like. We've already cut it out. So we don't have any blunders on our video. I want to entertain you with those things. So our tissue paper is nice and thick. Doesn't tear easy, easy to use. And we are going to be using our decoupage medium. Decoupage medium. It comes in 400 ml. You can see it's nice and thick in consistency. Water-based. So if it's too thick for you, you can thin it down with water. Um, Roxy's going to wet her brush and then we're just going to give it a layer um, on the inside. And then we're going to apply our decoupage. Azul tissue paper. Okay, Roxy. Show us how it's done, girl. No pressure. No pressure. Okay, come and check it out here. So it's like glue. It really is like glue. Same consistency, same colors, glue. Yes, so we're going to give it a nice thick layer so that we know that it sticks. So our decoupage um, takes about 60 minutes to dry. So once we've done it, um, we're going to leave it for 60 minutes and then we're going to do another layer on top. So the decoupage medium is not just a medium, it's also a sealer. If you let it cure for 10 days, it also becomes water resistant. So it's really, really a very cool product um, to use. And again, eco-friendly, kiddie safe, good for the environment. Okay, I think another layer. Okay. Let's, let's give it a, a good... And we're just using our Granny Bee's blending brush for this, but you can really use any brush. You can even use those sponges, those tiny sponges we've showed you before. Um, those are also nice to use. Okay, I think we're good. Two seconds. Yeah. All right. This was serviette, we would have had a problem. It would have torn already. Okay, then I've got a nut lumpy here. We can just use. Directly translated to wet cloth. <laughs> nut lumpy. For all our Afrikaans customers. Okay, can we have to put it off here? So I'm going to be dipsing this for myself, for my desk, it's going to be my file 13 door. So all this paperwork that I don't know what to do with, that gets filed once a year, is going to be going in here. How pretty is this? Stunning. Okay. So now we are going to leave it for 30, oh, for 60 minutes. And then we're going to give it a nice thick coat on top so it will act as a sealer. And like we said, um, it also becomes water resistant um, off the end. So we'll see you in a little bit. And we are back. So we just want to show you how beautiful it looks. So there's our inside. This is the outside. So we've sealed the plate with classic seal. And then we are now going to give the top coat, a nice little thick coat of decoupage. I'm just going to slather it on here. Ok, 
Das ist die Art hier drauf. Auf der Zeit von Roxy. Die Ola war einmal dünn Dings. Roxy ist auch nicht mehr. Versachtig. Und jetzt slap it on. Okay, so when it dries, the, the white look that you get here will be going, will go away. So, that really is all you need. So now it is done. It will be dry in an hour and it will be properly cured in 10 days. Just like that. Just like that. Granny Bees really offers you the opportunity to beautify almost anything with a small budget and minimal effort. We'll see you in our next episode. Cheers. Cheers.